Gemini, welcome. I am Rena Wells, your Divine Goddess Oracle, and I am so excited that you're here for your Valentine's Day and your mid-month. We are doing readings today for February 14th to the end of the month, and I usually do elemental reads, but I was really pulled to do a love story for you guys, which is um, basically however the cards come out. I get channeled with the messages, and it's just going to be some advice and information in regards to the connection that you're thinking of. So go ahead and feel the connection that you are thinking of. Could be a loved one, um, a partner. A mirror, uh, someone that you're just having a crush on, somebody, a twin flame. I usually deal with highly evolved connections, so a lot of twin flame stuff does come through me. I am a twin myself. So um, we're going to take a look. Oh, and just... I'm so like in the energy. I'm like so ready to jump right in there. Um, thank you everyone who's been subscribing. I hit a thousand subscribers in just a short period of time, just a little bit over a month. And um, I'm I'm so grateful to you for all the readings and the coaching and the, all the new people that I'm, I'm pulling in the tribe. And I love everybody. I'm such in a hype place. I'm so in a beautiful place. So what we're going to do, if you want to book me or you want any more information, just look down below, okay? Or hit the about button. That's it. Let's get started. We're going to pull some dark energy cards. I love these dark mirror cards. They've been working tremendously well. I love them. We're going to look and see where energy needs to be transformed this week because this is going to catapult you in your greatest desires. Okay, guys, I work in the dark stuff, not like, you know, things that are for your alignment. Okay, the and frequencies that are coming in to align you. And we're going to see where that is and then how it's going to align you this week. Okay, so spirit. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, please come down. Please bring down, and the Cross Watchers. I always forget to mention the Cross Watchers. You know, it's always it's always there in the back of my mind. Um, this goes out to whoever watches this is meant to be, it's meant for you. So that's the intention I sent. Please bring down the container, please, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Can you please show us the blocks that are coming up for Valentine's Day at the end of the month, please? Oh, well, thank you, Spirit. We've got two that came out right away. Okay. Perchance to dream. Oh, look at this. This is coming, this is um, in, in the darkest of your moment, okay? What's coming up is, you know, it's a, it's okay to, to allow your dreams. I know there are certain dreams that came to an end, okay? And so Spirit is like saying, some dreams came to an end. Certain things ended that you weren't sure about. And it's created, created a lot of fear and, and sadness, Spirit is saying, to even think about dreaming again. You felt like that was your dream. And how could anything ever even be possible to come forward again? And Spirit is like, that's okay. You can do this again. You can dream again. Because look at this. You're going to be balancing yourself out. You've got peaceful among the thorns. Recognize that this pain that you had, I wasn't dreaming Okay, this dream ended. It was so beautiful and it's, I feel like it's gone now. It's okay to let that go and to heal that because Spirit is saying you're going learning to be the master of your emotions and learning to be peaceful in the thorns, in that dream falling apart, okay? That now, even though it's painful, you're going to learn to have the peace amongst the pain. That's a true master, guys. That's when you can balance all energy. This is very powerful. This is coming into full balance of yin and yang. Okay? Let's see what light. What light from yonder. What is that? What light from yonder breaks? I am Juliet. Oh, my God. It's Romeo and Juliet Shakespeare speaking to me, guys. What light through... Oh my God! You know what? I'm gonna have to pause that. I have to. I have to find that quote. It's very important right okay, now. Hold I, on. I, I had to. That. I had to quote Romeo and Juliet. I love Shakespeare, and I'm really big into theater. But I mean, the thing is, this is funny because this has never happened to me before. I'm quoting quoting Shakespeare. Okay, in a reading. So this is this is what spirit wants to say about this that you felt like the dream and it's not that it feels like that like Romeo and Juliet was such a tragic ending of loss and that's the tragedy that I feel that you had this dream that it was ending but the, it's not about that it's it's about how to hold the peace in this moment because I feel there's something ready to come forward for you so Romeo says 
but soft. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east and Juliet is the sun. And so Spirit is saying it's not about the Romeo and Juliet story and how it ends in tragedy. It's about that quote, that through this darkness that you thought the dreams ended, that you can now find the light. Let me read that again. So beautiful. But soft what light through yonder window breaks. It is the east and Juliet is the sun. Oh my God. <laughs> God, this is gonna make me cry like that is that is just so beautiful and so this is the light oh i'm getting shivers gemini this is the light that's coming forward oh my god this is gonna be a really potent reading i don't know what is going on with you guys gemini sun moon and rising um and venus signs this is this is potent stuff coming down spirit let's see what light what light what light through yonder window breaks here juliet is the sun oh my god the hand of Fatima. That is such a goddess energy right there. Look at this, how she's touching up to the universe, okay? She's high five in her guides. <laughs> it's really beautiful. I feel like I need to do another one. Um, it is the hand of God coming down. It's really you rising up to your true self. And merciful mother Jamal. So this is really, you're getting some really divine goddesses here. You're getting in the ethers and within yourself that's opening up portals. I feel with Fatima. Um, this is about making the connection. Okay. This is about making the connection in yourself. And even with the loved one that you felt like it was done, spirit is like, this is the light that breaks through the pain. This is the peace that you're learning to balance. This is you reaching up above higher up to where you can go. Okay. Because what's happening here is you're coming into a goddess sensuality is what I'm getting. The merciful mother ready to birth something brand new into her world. Okay, the sun becoming illuminated by this new connection within yourself. That's beautiful. Yep, Spirit is like saying, we're going to use this deck. I've been using the vice versa, but Spirit wants me to use this deck for this group for Gemini. Okay, Spirit, this is your love story, Gemini. Remember those energies that we just brought forward, okay, the dark. So keep that in the back of your mind, that this is about a dream that you felt that ended and it's painful, but you're learning how to be at peace among the dark, that you're now learning how to uh, connect with your higher self, okay? And you're learning to birth something new in yourself, that you are now the sensual mother becoming illuminated. Oh, God, that's a beautiful energy right there. Spirit, please bring down the container for Jenna. Sun and rising and Venus, please. Let's tell them the story for Valentine's Day and for the remainder of the month of February, please, Spirit. Let's take a look. I'm really in a really nice, calm, chill place today. When I feel like we need to do this a couple more times. I do shuffle before I come on, but sometimes I need that extra. Okay, here we go. Please bring the love story and the messages and advice for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please, Spirit, for February 14th to the end of the month. Thank you. Okay. We've got new beginnings. We've got a leap of faith. There is definitely a brand new beginning coming, you guys, okay? Brand new beginning. It may feel like this, okay? It may feel that it's been hard and you're crying, okay? But just know that there is a leap of faith, a brand new beginning that's coming, that's being birthed, okay? This is because you've been doing the work. This is because you are holding to hold this love, the connection in yourself through all of this pain and becoming the sensual mother, okay? What else there is coming forward? Thank you. Oh my goodness. This is transformation. Wow. Wow. You've got two major arcanas right out from the deck. Okay. You've got new beginnings and endings transformation from this new beginning that you've taken. You're having a new beginning and you're going to be able to become a very stable king of pentacles is coming forward into your life. Okay. So we're talking about a masculine that has also been transformed. I feel like they have been totally transformed. Okay. That there has been some shady behavior. We're not taking reversals guys. There has been some shady behavior and in regards to um, what they wanted to offer you, okay? And so they were really at a standstill in their life. And because of this, it's caused a lot. Uh, Spirit is like saying justice is going to be served. Aho. 
everything is going to be served. Okay, you are getting what is meant for you. Okay, so there has been a beginning, there has been an end, there has been a transition that has come out of this with the with the masculine energy. Okay, there is a decision. You've got the two of swords right on top of the justice. There is a decision that is going to be made. Okay, that has already been made as you hold this peaceful energy and stay connected. This is coming forth. Okay, we've got two more out here. We know that there has been some devil activity. Okay, there they have had to make decisions and they're realizing that they were trapped in a, an ego, but they need they want this passionate new beginning and they want to be able to plan and move forward with a passionate new beginning. Okay, so what I'm feeling here. And spirit is like saying not necessarily with the other person, but this is you owning the masculine energy to also move forward. Justice is going to be served in this situation that the toxicity is over with. Okay. Moving forward. Okay. We've also got, look, we've got, it's a brand new cycle that's coming. That's the four of wands for union. Okay. New birthing, new cycle. Okay. With the lover's card. Okay. That made you sad. This connection made you sad. But spirit is saying, don't worry about that. And I'm not, I, they're saying, don't say reconciliation, Rena. So I can't say this is a reconciliation. They're saying that this is, um, this connection forced you, okay, to realize that this masculine energy had to come forward. It was being deceptive and was offering you measly little things from a deceptive place, but had to, their decisions had to be made and karma is now going to be served to you because it, whatever happened was out of ego. And there's a passionate beginning that's coming here in regards to planning for the future. So a new cycle is coming up for union. Okay. For union in regards to a relationship choice and lover. So don't be sad about this. Okay, there is, and if it's a new relationship that's coming or one from the past, but it's like it could be both because this is this is general, right? It is speaking, but don't be sad. You're taking off your mask. That's what it is. You're taking off your mask, okay? You're taking off your mask and you are wanting victory and success. And you're going to have victory and success in this Ace of Cups, okay? There is a new offer. You're going to have success in love, so don't be defensive about it. This is about letting your defenses go. I know it's been hard. Okay, because they're saying this this perchance to dream. It's like you don't even want to dream anymore. It's like, oh my god, things have been so crappy. It's like I'm even afraid to even do that. I just been in this place for so long. And spirit's like, no, you're connecting. You're connecting higher up and you're ready to birth something new. You're ready to bring in this new sensuality. The merciful mother of nurturing yourself. Okay. Look at this. The Queen of Cups. Again, emotionally balancing yourself. That's what I just said. Okay, so don't be defensive with your emotions. Allow the emotions to come through, Gemini. Okay, Spirit, what about this love that's coming, Spirit? That flip want to fall right out. What about this love? What about Valentine's Day? What, about, what is going on, Spirit? We've got the Emperor. We've got a Divine Masculine that's coming in, okay? That's holding and holding. Look what he's holding. I've never noticed that before. Holding a little feminine in his hand. So if you're you're definitely in a twin connection, he's holding you. He knows you. He's recognizing you. He's recognizing this connection, Gemini. Okay. What about this Divine Masculine spirit? Okay, this Divine Masculine has been left out in the cold, but wants to come forward with, a, with the Knight of Cups, okay? Wants to come and offer a love to you. Hmm. They're moving on. Look at this. They're moving away from what wasn't serving them and moving towards wishes fulfillment. Wishes fulfillment. Whoever you're feeling, and if you've been feeling that they are coming forward, they are coming into your vibration, okay? So the wishes fulfillment, Spirit, can you tell us more about this wishes fulfillment? We've got a new beginning in truth with this wishes fulfillment, okay? We also have marriage, commitment, marriage and commitment. That is, what is this? That has come from being hung. So if you haven't heard from this person in a while, it's because they're gaining illumination in the, from the truth about what this what this connection is. It is holy. It is holy. Um, they're recognizing what kept them trapped from their beautiful Ten of Cups, okay? So that's helped them to balance out their emotions. Wow. 
That was intense. So they're coming forward to, with a new cup of love and a new honest beginning with a commitment towards you because they gained illumination when they pulled away from you and realized the entrapment that they were imposing not on you but on everybody else around them so that it was hindering their own ten of cups and now they want to and that's helped them to balance their own emotions of what they feel. Aho! Okay, we've got the three of swords. There was a lot of heartbreak here. They're realizing that in their heart now that they cause a lot of heartbreak for you and for them. You know, it was painful. Look at this. This king of cups is having emotional awareness that they're in pain because of shame and guilt and what they've done. Okay, because they know that they caused this to be single. Um, they caused the end of something for single. Okay, because they were looking at the the... The Ten of Pentacles, they want the stability, but they can't because they were looking at all these different options and they were heartbroken. They weren't emotionally mature yet for this, okay? And the Page of Swords, they want to come and communicate with you in regards to this Two of Cups. And they want to be honest with you, King of Swords. They, they're logically thinking about this of how to come forward to do this. Wow. They want to communicate. They're going to get a text. You're going to get a text about this connection, okay? And you're going to see that they're, they've been logically thinking about They've been pondering here. Look how he's sitting there. I'm thinking about this beautiful Two of Cups connection with my love, and I'm going to communicate this with them. But they're looking at the different ways. They're like, you know, I want a stable beginning, and, I, and I've been looking at the earth plane a lot, and, and I'm single, and it's been painful. And, you know, how, how can I come forward now? to offer this cup of love because that's really what they want to do okay look at this healing it's destiny i know it's destiny i know that i'm coming forward towards you i've been on a healing journey too okay and as you're starting to rise my divine feminine i'm rising with you because look at this i want you to be my queen of pentacles i want this stable beginning and i want to work hard and birth things with you this is a beautiful card birthing, working together, laboring together. I don't want to do this alone anymore. That's what I'm hearing them say. I don't want to do this alone anymore. Intuitively, I heard I heard them say that. These these divine masters, this is resonating for you. This is what's happening, okay? This isn't resonating for you. It's not for you, okay, guys? Um, but yeah, they're using their intuition. They're gaining, they're tapping into their inner knowledge. They're looking at their shadow self, okay? Because they want the six of cups. They know the soulmate connection. They want this with you. And that's why they're walking towards you. A lot of walking towards you, okay? Spirit, please clarify this Eight of Cups. Eight and eight on each other, okay? Wow. Eight of Wands and Eight of Cups. Woo! Passionate. Passionate communication. They're going to maybe start with a little text, but once, once, I mean, they want to work hard. You got two eights. Eight, eight is abundance, you guys. Infinity. Twin flame. Infinity. Infinity. You turn that sideways, infinity, eight, eight, one for each of you, eight, eight, abundance, 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 never ending, passionate communication, moving towards you. Whoo, this is really good. Um, the page of wands offering something passionate to you, okay? Passionate towards you with the knight of swords, communicating this again. I mean, that's come out a few times in this story, you guys. They really are moving towards you and wanting to communicate with you. Okay, so we've got here, we've got the Knight of Wands are passionately feeling the Divine Feminine, okay, and recognizing their shadows so that they can invest. Look at the Seven of Pentacles in the, in the Moon. They really passionately and fast moving, using their intuition to recognize that they're moving through the darkness. Okay, they're moving through the shadows to invest. They're ready to invest. You guys got to let me know how this, what happens this week. This is really great. Um, okay. There was an ending. We got two tens that came out at the same time. Ten, ten. We've got judgment. Okay. Ten, ten. We've got ten of swords and ten of wands. This has been very painful. Very painful. Painful endings. Really burdensome. Okay. But there's reconciliation, judgment, a renewal that's coming forward. Okay. Because there had to be something that had to be cut off before this judgment could come forward. There had to be some type of renewal, okay? There had to be this ending. There had to be the Ten of Swords. There had to be the burden. The dream had to fall apart, you guys, okay? You've had to learn to be okay in your pain, 
to bring in this beautiful new connection of yourself to source, to everything that you are, to be in this sensuality and this mother, mother earth type of energy of birthing something new. So things have to be cut out, okay? Things have to stop for a while, but this person is, look, look, holding strength, holding and taming the ego because look, they want illumination and sun with you. And this is a beautiful sun card. Look how they're holding each other. You know, they're holding each other. It's so beautiful. So there's going to be a lot of illumination. This was coming out. Two of Wands, a decision. There's been contemplation. This person is contemplating, how am I going to go about this to do this, to bring about this new passionate, uh, sorry, this new stable beginning. Okay. When this person comes forward, Gemini, they're going to want it all. It's not just dating. It's like, okay, I, I'm here. I want it all. I want it all. Okay. So we've got Three of Pentacles, they want to build, teamwork, collaborate. Four of Pentacles, okay? They, they're hanging on to you. They've never been able to let you go. Out of all of this, they haven't been able to let you go, okay? They haven't been let, able to let go of their Empress. Look at this and this Page of Cups, okay? They're coming back with an apology, with an offer of love, because they haven't been able to let go of their beautiful Divine Feminine. Not at all. Not at all, spirit. We, these have flipped over. We've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So they're slow moving towards coming towards a celebration. Why is that, spirit? Why are they slow moving to celebrate with you? They want to celebrate with you. But they are slow moving. Why is that, spirit? Why are they slow moving? Can you tell us why are they slow moving? Okay. They're slow moving because, huh? oh, the Queen of Swords. What happened? We already had that. Did that fall out again? Oh, I read that wrong, guys. This is a passionate beginning. So that's interesting. They, <laughs> they had to cut things out to manifest this back. So the Queen of Wands was passionate, okay? It was a burden for them. Um, sorry, guys. I thought it was the Queen of Swords. I swear to God, I saw the Queen of Swords. I swear to God, I saw this card in my eyes as I was channeling. That was weird. Um, I'm like, what, 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 what? Okay. No, Spirit is saying, yeah, you did have to say that. I had to say that. They did have to cut things out, okay? But it was passionately. So they're saying it's passionately they're going to come forward and manifest this, okay? Manifesting it because they've had to be in the hermit. They had to pull away, guys. They had to pull away. So the Queen of Swords came up because they have to cut out things out to manifest, to be able to own their power again, to come into illumination, okay? And this, this reconciliation, this judgment that's coming forward, okay, after this Ten of Swords and this Ten of um, Wands that was a burden, that an ending that happened in a renewal of spirit and a reconciliation, that there is something passionate that's coming forward to work really hard at. Okay, because they've been using their intuition and using their strength. Okay, and so now they've cut things out so that they could manifest. They weren't owning their manifestation because they had to become a hermit. Okay, they had to become a hermit. Okay, King of Wands. Look at this. We've got passionate new king coming forward. Coming forward, spirit. Coming forward, how so? This King of Wands, can you clarify? Whoop. Okay, we're taking those. So spirit is like saying this is how it's going to go down. King of Wands, okay, is coming forward because they know that they cause a lot of pain and cause um, caused you to be, you know, um, left out, um, not left in the cold, but very like a very painful place. But they're looking at you and saying, I'm going to be willing to trust you again. Put the sword in my back because I know this is a new upswing for us. I am moving forward to you because I am done juggling. I'm here to give a proper, the, the proper um, back and forth. I will juggle what I need to, to move forward to you. Okay. Because I've been, I've been missing you. I've looked at what I've lost. This person has missed you. They've hung on to you. They know that they needed to balance this. They know of what they've lost. Okay. They know what they lost. It was a tower moment for them for what they lost. You, uh, it, it was devastating for them. Okay. But they've slayed their, de their demons. Okay. They've been defensive on this path so that they can rebalance themselves. And now that they're balanced, um, this nine of wands came up now that they're balanced. There's been defensive energy, but now they're balanced. Sorry guys, that was like way over here. And I think that came out with the seven of wands, but yeah, the tower moment had to come so they could balance. That's interesting here because here we've got the four of cups where they've looked at what they've lost. They can't let go of you, right? Because as they, as the tower moment was happening, they were falling down. They were slaying their beasts, right? 
They were slaying their beasts and being defensive so that they could balance. And temperance was here too, but I've lost temperance. <sighs> They're really coming forward, Gemini. Okay, and it's going to be like all or nothing. Let's get some romance angels on that, shall we? Let's do that. Gemini, sun, moon, and rising, and Venus. What is going on, please? Why are the cards acting weird? Don't act weird. Okay. What is going on for Gemini, sun, moon, and rising, please? What is going on, spirit, sun, moon, and rising for Gemini? Uh, ho. for February 14th. So the first card out is going to be overall energy for February the 14th. And then the rest are just going to be simple messages for the remainder of the month. Okay, guys. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Thank you. Very soon. So you're going to hear about this very soon. Clearly decide. They, the decision making has all been happening here, you guys. They're key. I mean, the message that kept coming forward, they're moving forward. They're coming towards you. They're coming home. They're coming home. They're coming home. Um, you keep holding this, this, this space. You keep elevating yourself. Okay. Because what's happening is you keep retreating. Can I just say that you keep elevating yourself. You keep working in that. You retreat. You disconnect from the world because there is separation that you're dealing with. This is separation that you've been separated from your love. Okay. But you're, it's going up to the next level. This is engagement. It's moving up to the next level. It's enhancing, okay? So keep an open mind about this. Let's get some angel answers. Spirit, can you please bring down the container? Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. Any answers that you would like them to know for Valentine's Day to the end of the month? Thank you, I hope. Okay, let's see here. Any angel answers, please? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So Spirit is saying things cannot come forward, okay? Because we've got like unlikely and no first is what we've got. But don't worry about that, okay? There may be some time before this is the energy that's happening right now. Very soon they're coming, okay? There is going to be a success. But in the meantime, they want you to continue improving your health. So what's happening here is what I'm getting is not right now, no, because you have to retreat. It is going to be very soon, okay? But you have to retreat within yourself, okay? There's some health, con they want you to continue to stay in this place of being peaceful, in the thorns, okay, in the pain, and holding that because unlikely, look at this, right on top of the separation, that's how it came out, that's how I read it, okay, separation is unlikely, the separation is going to keep going on, okay, because don't worry, there is absolutely no need to worry in regards to the leveling up of this connection, keep an open mind, there is success happening here, the last message is improve your health, so if you haven't been working out and you haven't been doing that, Get on it, okay? Stay in that vibration because this is going to happen very soon, okay? Much love, Gemini. Like, share, and subscribe. Let me know how that was. Have a happy Valentine's Day. I love you guys so much. And again, if you want to know anything else about me, book a reading, all that jazz, take a look down below or in the about. And I love you guys. Mwah. Always sending love. Aho. Bye.